Welcome to this video showing how to create a simple geological model from borehole data using QGS. First, we will prepare the borehole data. We will need to include all the necessary information such as borehole locations, depths to well tops and lithologies. The data can be easily imported into QGS in a form of comma-separated values file known as CSV file or as an Excel spreadsheet. We will start by installing a plugin called QGS23JS. This plugin will allow us to, to display geological data in 3D. To do this, simply click on Plugins menu and search for the plugin and install. This plugin offers one of the simplest ways to create a geological model with QGS. To import data, first create a new shape file. Go to the Layer menu, select Create Layer and choose New Shape File Layer. In the new window type the name of your new file, in our project it will be called Borehole Logs. And choose the appropriate geometry type for the shape file, in this case select Point. Then define the attribute fields that correspond to your attributes in the CSV file. Their attributes were highlighted in the file I showed you before. To define a new attribute table we need to include coordinates for borehole locations, depths and lithology. For X and Y attribute type is integer, for Z choose decimal type, while for lithology choose text type or string. Press OK. Next, go to layer menu and select add layer, then choose add delimited text layer to populate each attribute in the shape file you created. In the new window, choose your CSV file. Remember to add Z attribute to the coordinates. Below you can check samples of well tops and change any of attribute types here if necessary. Press add and close the window. When you add data your borehole locations will appear. Next right-click on the borehole data in the Layers panel and selecting Open Attribute Table to export individual geological strata. Identify the strata that you want to export as separate layers. Once the features are selected, right-click on the borehole logs and choose Export and then Save Selected Features as. In the Save Vector Layer as dialog, choose Shapefile or GeoJSON format for the exported layer. Name the output file and its path to create the vector file for the top of Cretaceous. Remember to choose the geometry type of the shape file. Press OK. Use the interpolation tool to create strata boundaries. Go to the processing menu and select toolbox. Search for the interpolation tool and choose a method. I used inverse distance weighted. In the interpolation window, select the geological stratum and the depth field or Z as its attribute. Also pick an extent of your new layer. This can be the extent of the borehole locations. Then decide on the most optimal cell size for interpolation. I have picked one pixel value to limit the processing time. It is also a good practice to choose to save the file in your project folder. Otherwise it will be saved as a temporary file. Run the process to generate a new raster. After interpolation you can rename the new raster layer. I use the names of strata. Next you we will extract contours from the surface. Go to the toolbox and choose your method. Here I use Contour Extraction from GDAL menu. In the Count Our Extraction dialog, select your interpolated surface as the input raster layer and set an interval between output contours. Again you can choose to save the file in your project folder. Run the processing to convert the interpolated surface into contour lines in shapefile format. Rename the layer or change its color. Now open 3D Exporter window to view our model in 3D, select your point data, and scroll in. To open the property window right-click on each layer. To correct the point elevations, select C as the expression of altitude. 
Select all features in the features section which I have just missed, otherwise some points may not be displayed. Next also specify altitude attribute for both contours. Also here you may want to select all features in the features section. Here you can also change the display color for each layer. When you finish you can view your first part of the model in 3D. Now I will repeat the same process to extract the data for the ground level from the CSV borehole file. Open the attribute table, select the data and export them as a separate layer. Use the option Save Selected Features As. You can omit the following step if you already have a digital elevation model for the ground surface. In the new dialog I choose name for the file to store the layer. This will be my layer for the ground level, the top surface in my geological model. When everything is ready I press OK. Next I will start interpolation and create the raster file for the ground surface. Open the interpolation window and choose input data. Next let's set the image cell resolution and the data extent. Also select the attribute for interpolation. Now I am renaming the raster and extracting contours for the ground surface in a similar way as before for the top of Cretaceous. As you can see in the layer table I have also repeated the same process for the top of glacial till. We will now return to 3D display to view our model. Display the new contour representing the top of glacial till by clicking on the box. And open the property window for the new contour, specify its elevation attribute. Next I will also show how to modify the color of the contour. Simply select expression in the color menu and select the one you like. You can also go to the scene menu and change your display settings. For example you can change vertical exaggeration or the color of background. This concludes our journey to build the geological model with QGS. In the following videos I will show you how to construct more elaborate models. I hope you have enjoyed it and will try using QGIS to create geological models. Write a comment below if you have any questions or would like me to explain anything in a separate video. If you have liked this video, please subscribe to receive updates. Thank you for watching this and I hope to hear from you.